good morning Larkers. It is, um, what is it? Almost the end of August and this is my first time back out since my little, uh, you know, my little skin cancer incident. I've no more stitches. Um, I have a new machine which I'm like super excited about. Um, so this is the inaugural trip into the woods with the Nocta the Legend. So let's see what Nocta will bring us today. We will see you at that first beat. Okay, so here's the spot we're gonna take a look around today. Um, I've done this place a couple of times. I found my silver half dollar here, so kind of excited to come back here. It's been a couple of months actually. And um, so we are all bug sprayed up. My mum is here, but she doesn't want to be on camera today because she wasn't feeling very well last night. So she says she looked tired, but she doesn't. Um, and here is the Nocta. So this is my first time out with it. So what we're doing today is um, just testing out the settings, learning all the stuff, whatever. We're going to dig all the beeps and whatever we find, we're going to take a note of the, the tone. And then what we found is the best way to learn how to use your device. So yeah, I'm excited. So we're all here. We're all set up in the woods and um, let's see what we can find. All right, guys, so we um, we got a nice strong signal in this hole here. Um, it was a three on the on the legend dashboard thing. It was all the way over to the left, which signified that it was um, iron. And um, what we found was this giant screw. It's very heavy. It must weigh about a pound, that thing. It must weigh about a pound. It's huge, huge screw. So score one for the Nocta. Said it was iron and there it was iron. Cool. Okay, so this hole right here, the Vanquish put up a 29, not the Vanquish, I'm sorry, the Nocta Legend put up a between a 29 to 31. Now if I was on the Vanquish for 40 and it was a 31, I would swear black and blue that it was a quarter. On the Vanquish, it looks like it's a giant piece of steel. <laughs> Can't even get it all on the camera, it's so big. It's got to be about, I don't know, it weighs a ton as well. But it's got to be, let me zoom out. It's got to be, what, two foot long, two and a half feet? Yeah, uh, it's got three screw holes in the top. It's all decorative, actually. It's probably an older piece. I have no idea what it is. But um, yeah, there you go. 29 to 32, second giant piece of metal. Okay, so this hole here, zoom in, zoom out. This hole here gave us a, what did I say, 41, 42? Yeah. This was a 41, 42. I kind of debated on whether to dig it or not because I was getting a lot of 30s as well and that has been iron and steel so far. But actually this was a piece of a light bulb. Uh, I'm not sure if this this base here, I'm not sure if it's brass, so we're going to take this home, clean it up and just see what metal this is, because it looks more goldy than rusty. But um, yeah, so, so far this, we're finding, we're not finding any, you know, buried treasure or coins yet, but we are definitely finding more stuff than is normal with my Vanquish. So, so far I'm excited about this new machine. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, this hole, this was a really hole right here. Um, the signal for this was a 60. It took me a minute to find it. And I think it's because the item was actually on its edge and it's quite thin, but I dug out all of these enormous rocks and I found this. <laughs> I, it's some kind of hinge because, and I don't know what it is, but this piece that you can't probably can't tell on camera, but this piece actually moves. <laughs> Sorry, size in my face. And um, this piece, oh, there you go. You can see it wobbling. So it's actually a hinge, I think, of some kind. And we're actually on a roadway. Um, you can't really see it very well, but this whole area is actually all of these cobbles. You can see the wall kind of right here for the edge of the road. So whatever this is, it probably fell off some kind of machinery that they did that they brought in to build the Merit or I think there was a house or some kind of dwelling here based on some of the trash that I found. 
So yeah, don't know what that is, but that's another, another that's what, hole four and find four for the legend one? Yes, it's like hole four, find four for the legend. This is, seven, this is the seventh seven hole. Seventh hole. Okay, so seven holes we've dug and we've found five things so far. So hopefully we'll find a coin at some point. That's my goal for today is just to, just to dig up a coin and get the coin score. So let's keep going. So this is an unusual um, find. It is actually not a um, detector find. It was we've had a lot of flooding here we had some major major rains yet last week so there's a lot of flooding and a lot of um surface clearance so this is it's a bro obviously broken but this is a really old coca-cola bottle and the bottom of it says it's from enid oklahoma um usually around here we find stamford connecticut or new york or new jersey bottles i've never found um, an Enid Oklahoma bottle before so I know it's broken but that's actually a pretty cool find so we dug another hole right here um, it's actually super super close to the surface I don't think I needed to dig more than an inch for this one I think this was about an 18 and it looks like we have a let's get in the sun there, piece of an old Vermont license plate it looks like five eight six of the three digits but yeah, that's kind of cool. Piece of old license plate. Maybe the car is under here somewhere too. <laughs> I won't be digging the car up. So we're on our way out now. I just decided to do a quick mudlark on the riverbank here. And um, yeah, we found Wilson over there. Can you see him? Can't get him. He's a little too far out of reach. I don't have my wellies on, but that's fine. Kind of funny, I guess. Maybe it's also funny, I don't know. Maybe the heat's getting to me. Anyway, this is the underneath of the the, the cantilever bridge. I think it's a cantilever. I don't know. It's underneath of this bridge, anyway. And that's the Ripper One heading north. 